Are you the Hedgehog Brothers? Yeah, we are. How can we help you? I'm Jerry, Magician's Apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Unfortunately, our tools have disappeared. <sighs> they were brand new. I bet there's a green hat behind it. Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. Even so, they run around Masswood, they're invisible, they steal tools, and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, are they a fairy tale too? Hmm. I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> oh, somebody's there. A little green man with a hat. I knew it! We've had a green hat in the house after all. Ah, may the snakes take me. Johnny cats and fly specks. Hail and mud puddles. He can see me, but not if I hold me breath. What? Stop. Oh no, the thief is gone. I have to go after him. The little man in green. There he is again. Ah, first at the hedgehogs, and now here. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing. Confounded, Billy's. Ah, I mean, go to the weevil, cursed constable. He's gone again. He seemed pretty angry. They smell earthy. I like mushrooms a lot better like this than in Mum's salads. Ugh. Ha! The Shadrach Ripper certainly won't find me here. There he is again. Stop. I'm standing on a shamrock. It's magic. Gives me strength. Aye, I can do whatever I like here. He got away again. Johnny Cats and Fly Specks! Leave me in peace, you brat! You'll never get me Shamrock! No, I just don't fit. Instead of following the little guy, I could try to block his way. That doesn't need a sturdy rate. That doesn't need a sturdy rate. That doesn't. That doesn't need. I saw the thief, a little green man with a hat. I knew it. We've had a green hat in the house after all. I even heard him. But how can you see a green hat? I'm a magician's apprentice. My goodness, then I bet you can help us. I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. There he is again. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing. Confounded, Billy's. He's gone again. Oh. 
There he is again. Stop. Ha! I'm standing. It's magic. I. I can. He got away again. That's a cunning plan, and it might just work. Johnny Carson, fly, leave me in peace. You'll never get me. There he is. He's gone again. The leprechaun will pop up at any moment, and then... That hurt. Off to the Hedgehog Brothers. They'll sure be glad to get their tools back. Johnny Carson, fly specs. Leave me in peace, you brat. You'll never get me shamrock. I've got your tools. Terrific. But as long as the green air is still about, I'm not happy about finishing building the boat. Me neither. Please make him go away. That belongs to the Hedgehog Brothers, so I should be careful with it. That belongs... No, I'd better be careful with the thing. No, I'd better be careful with the thing. The little man runs over the rock to protect himself, and then he disappears. Quite obviously with the help of magic. I'm done with this for now. I'd better keep it. That belongs to the Hedgehog Brothers. Welcome to Mousewood, newcomer. Your friend with the red eyes seemed familiar to me. Here's some well-meaning advice from me to you. Stay within the town, all right? The crows are circling low over the woods today. You. I've never seen you here before. Nonsense. He came through here earlier today. Yeah? Yeah, together with a rabbit with weird red eyes. Well, I remember that one. I'm Jerry Hazelnut, magician in training. Magician? You? I might have bought that from your friend with the red eyes, but... Oh, why do I have to stand guard out here while you get to have fun? I'd better keep it. Another statue. It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. I'm There's so something hungry. written on the stone next to it. Talk to one another, deal with one another, uh, live with one another. In remembrance of the regular meetings held on this brook to reconcile the differences between mice, squirrels and other inhabitants of 
Ah, the woods. Are there inhabitants? I guess that would include me if I lived here. Halt! Who goes there? Ugh! What sort of hideous weasel are you? Uh, I just need to get past you for a second. Yeah, sure. What's the problem? No problem. Just pay 500 leaf bucks. Now. That's what it costs if you want to cross the cold water br bridge. That's how much the troll costs. You mean toll? No, I mean troll. Leave the talking to those of us who don't make mistakes. But if we did that, the whole world might go silent. Everybody but me, that's right. Huh? And maybe my babysitter Anya, she says I'm an extremely gifted child. I can stand her, more or less. Well, almost. But how can we possibly negotiate if I'm not supposed to talk? Fine, fine. 300 leaf bucks. 300 leaf bucks? Oh, right. You must be a government official if you wield this kind of authority. Is there a magician's apprentice discount by any chance? Normally, magician's apprentices get financial aid. I have to cross the bridge for uh, educational purposes. Educational purposes? Discount? Be glad you have the opportunity to get through here at all. 300 leaf bucks, that's the fee. Pay up or stay on your side of the bridge. It's no loss to us. Hmm, I'll be back later then. What a little cutthroat! But I can't get into a fight with a little kid. I'm just too good natured. I have to find a way to get over the bridge without dangling him over the side by one leg to teach him a lesson. Although... Nah. Oh, that smells so good. Is it a honey lollipop? Okay, I'll tell you what. You give me the lollipop and I'll let you go through. Just this once. Deliciously unhealthy. Actually, I think the honey made it even healthier. Can't be. Healthy things don't taste good. Since when are weird weasels like you health experts anyway? Seems like animals can do anything here. I wouldn't be at all surprised by a weasel that's a health expert. A swift, cold, pebbly, babbling brook. I'd better stay on the signposted trails. I'd get hopelessly lost in the fields. Hmm. The sun has really dried out the fields. A brief shower would do them good. Oh no! Someone is being attacked by a crow! Hey! It's Ursula! Oh man, I think he's serious. I shouldn't get too close. But I have to help Ursula. There must have been more mail to deliver here before the flood. Hmm, the front wheel is frozen to the spot. Hmm, that's the same symbol I saw in my magical letter. The sign of the tree walkers. Maybe somebody left that here because there is a tree portal nearby. Blue juice. 
every keg a treat. Only two leaf bucks. Take a jug for some good luck. A quality product from the friendly wood dwarves. There's an asterisk next to the word friendly and some small print at the bottom. The purchase or consumption of this wood dwarf product in no way obliges the wood dwarves to treat their customers in a friendly manner. Hmm. There's only one keg of blue juice left. Looks like Mousewood is running out of blue juice. Well, if the pigeons in the park go for this kind of thing, At least Anya's cupcakes seem to appeal to birds. Stay put! The large river back there has burst its banks. Looks like everyone had to leave in a hurry. The building collapsed. Looks like someone just pecked apart the ceiling and the walls. This is scary. The building looks like this is Smells pretty leathery. I wonder who lost this. This thing is it's I wonder. The large river back there has burst its banks. Looks like everyone had to leave in a hurry. Better keep it. That will make it even madder. That will make it even madder. I, I've got to help Ursula. No, in midsummer. It's summer here, isn't it? Curiouser and curiouser. I can't just run away now. I've got to help Ursula. A genuine tap. <laughs> I bet it would be funny if I attached it to the mailbox. Well, maybe not. That will make it even madder. No, I'd better be careful with the thing. No. The great Zara. I wonder if that was his stuff in the trunk. Cool, rose hips. Cool, when they're dried you can use them as itching powder. Just run away now. I've got to help Ursula. I'd better keep it. I'd better keep it.
Oh man, I think he's serious. I shouldn't get too close. But I have to help Ursula. That will make it even mad. What a pretty flower. I think I've seen it on the label of one of Mum's relaxation teas. I'll grab a bud to take along. That will make it even madder. I'd better hold on to that. I'd better hold... No, I'd... No. I'd better hold on to that. I'd better hold on... I'd better... I'd better... I'd better... Ow. The mouse with the backpack. It's full of writing I can't read. I wonder whether it belongs to that mysterious wood sprite. Ow. The It's... That will make it easy. The sign says, path into the swamp, beware of mosquitoes. I'd better hold on to that. Rose hips are cool, but disappointingly useless. The large river looks like everyone. Ugh, I can't reach them. A stick won't help here. That will make it e A stick won't help here. I'd better hold. Rose hips are cool. No, I... That will make it even ma- I don't want to put up any posters, not even for the great Zaroff. I'd better hold on to that. I'd better hold. There, there must have been more mail to deliver here before the. There must have been more mail to deliver here before the flood. The shoelace still looks quite usable. I'll take it with me. A shoelace won't help me here. Maybe I can use this to flick the antenna and give the crow a good whack. Gotcha! Drat, it won't budge. Oopsie. Oh well, who needs that antenna anyway? Hmm, now I can throw the rope. Just like a grappling hook.
Then leave the little owl alone or I'll let you have it. The hook on the shoelace is really sharp. I better be careful with this thing. I better be... I better be... I better... Be. If that freezes as well, we'll never be able to free your bike. There, now you're in for it. No reason to thank me. I, Magician's Apprentice, Jerry Hazelnut, gladly help wherever I can. I saw everything. You're a hero. Not really. You're just like my friend Uli. Unfortunately, he's... Oh, well. Here, take this. What is it? A flyer. A mouse has to make a living, you know. Wow! He said I'm a hero. I'd better take you home now, Ursula. You can ride in my backpack. She was still clutching a crow feather. Did Ursula pluck that from the crow? The building collapsed. Looks like this is scary. This looks like a little flight of stairs. But the mushrooms will have to grow a bit before I can climb the tree. Hmm. Then I can investigate why it's snowing up there. What kind of stone is that? It is firmly stuck. No idea what it is. No, I'd better be careful with the thing. It looks like it was hit by lightning about a thousand years ago. Hmm, somebody seems to have carved four openings into its gnarly trunk. Only a hollow tree stump with nothing in it. But I hear a whistling sound. The wind is blowing through the hollow trunk, moaning and whistling. It almost sounds like a tune. The organ music of the wind, the breath of the forest. Hmm, how did I come up with that? Don't tell me I'm a poet too. Poet magician Jerry Hazelnut. It looks interesting over there as well, but I can't get across the brook here. It looks interesting, but I can't. I better be careful with this thing. It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. A fish scale. It's all dry and shimmers in lots of colours. Hey, it's really light. Cute. Another statue. We have arrived. We will be the solution. Okay. Suspicious guy.
Well, if it isn't Jerry, the promising young tree walker that everyone's going on about. You wouldn't happen to have a fire spell handy, would you? That's me, but I'm still in training, you know. Gossip spreads fast here. I hope you realise that I was only joking about the fire spell. After all, my bike is built from a matchbox. It would burn like kindling. Are you Plato the mailman? Well, if these packages don't get delivered today, I'll just be plain old Plato the frog. <sighs> Your bicycle is really stuck in the ice, huh? Well... I expect the ice will have melted by tomorrow, but that won't do me any good. If I don't deliver the packages today, they'll soon be out of a job. Hmm. Maybe I can help you. Good luck, Plato. See you later. Thanks. Oh, what a nuisance. And I was going to go out with Anya tonight. Are these your packages and letters? No, but I am responsible for them. But now my bike's got stuck here and there's nothing I can do about it. That means I can't deliver the mail. I've never been this late on my round. Would you like me to distribute the mail for you? Hmm. Her? You'd really do that for me? Sure. I'll be running to and fro all day anyway. Oh, that would be a tremendous help. Then I can guard my bike. You know... My delicate frog's legs are better suited for cycling than for marching through the woods. No problem. Consider the mail delivered. <laughs> 